investment in renewable energy and developing a renewable energy infrastructure for our community that's going to last out multiple generations. The city needs additional energy, power generation, and the most logical way to get it was to put in additional hydro, which is what we are primarily right now. Um, the Blue Lake expansion project started about three and a half years ago when they began the licensing and engineering phases for this project. And um, it came about because actually when this dam was built in the 50s, they built it low enough so that it could be raised another 25 feet. And we came along and pushed the envelope to 83 feet. It was the thinking of our, you know, people back in the 1957 with, with slide rules that they were, the, they were the smart guys, not us. With hydro, even though the first cost is extremely high, when you compare it to the cost of burning diesel fuel to do the same thing, um, it's usually, you know, a slam dunk. There's no question that it, hydro is the economical way to go. Why we need this project is pretty easy. We're at capacity in the winter time using as much of the hydro electricity that we have for generation and the last couple years we haven't even been able to fill the lake so we've been having to run diesel to provide that energy to town. Hydro is clean, renewable, um, great source, reliable, great source of energy. And so by Sitka investing in their infrastructure, you know, this is going to be here forever, whereas diesel is going to fluctuate, could go all over the place, you know, prices obviously are going to rise. So if we can build this um, hydro now, you know, it'll be here for the future.